sharing some small things in our life, which we can make it better, if we just give some proper attention. I would like to share something, which I have noticed while driving, especially during school hours. Students are getting down from school buses, especially after returning from schools, and crossing the road, from the front side, of a bus. Look at this video, what happens when somebody crosses a road, from the front side of a bus. A vehicle coming from the same direction, cannot see anybody trying to cross the road, because of the bus, an accident can happen. Recently an accident took place in the longest river bridge of India, and a student died, because he tried to cross the road, from the front side of a vehicle, and the driver of the vehicle cannot see the kid, trying to cross the road. These types of accident can easily be avoided, if the students are taught how to cross a road properly. If students are taught to cross the road, from the backside of their school buses, then there is less chance of any accident, since we can have a clear view, of any person trying to cross a road. People who love cooking, or cook their own food, might have noticed that there are two types of utensils, for cooking food. They are deep pan, and shallow pan. These different shapes can produce different types of dish, like a tailor uses different types of needles, to stitch different kinds of clothes. The metal of a utensil, plays an important role in preparing a tasty dish, but the shape of that utensils matters most, in preparing out the perfect, and a favorable dish. Deeper pan required less oil to cook food, than cooking on a shallow pan. So we can save lots of oil, if we cook on a deeper pan, and the food also tastes tastier, than cooking on a shallow pan, because deeper pots tend to hold moisture inside, and help keep the food moist. For cooking a pori, a deep pan is the perfect pan, while vegetables that have some amount of water content, are normally cooked in shallow pans, as they do not need extra moisture. In a shallow utensil food is exposed to air, and evaporation, moisture is lost more easily, and food cooked are drier. Stews, chicken broth, burrunis, and foods in small amount for small family, are very easy to cook in deep pots, while requiring small amount of oil, than in a shallow pan. For me I like the deep pan, and use it more often as it requires small amount of oil, in cooking food for my small family but to cook chapatas, noodles, omelettes, I often use a shallow pan. What are mammals? In short mammals are vertebrate animals, and characterized by the presence of mammary glands, which in females produce milk, for feeding their young ones, a neocortex, a region of the brain, fur, or hair, and three middle ear bones. Ear bone, also called auditory ossicle, any of the three tiny bones, in the middle ear of all mammals. These are the malleus, or hammer, the incus, or anvil, and the stapes, or stirrup. Here I would like to share something with you. Animals with ear attached outside, always give birth to young ones while living beings with ear inside lay eggs, except of aquatic animals, like whales, dolphins. I am pretty sure you will find that this is to be 100% true. All mammals give birth directly to young ones, except two mammals which do not have got ear attached outside, like the other mammals do. The mammals which do not give birth directly to young ones, but instead lay eggs, are duck-built platypus, and spiny anteaters. The ears of aquatic mammals are different, like sharks give birth to their young ones like mammals, but they are not mammal, and do not feed their young one with milk, like whales, and dolphins do. Humans are unusual in the animal kingdom, because they are the only species to drink milk beyond childhood, and to drink the milk of other animals. Mammals possess body hair, and fur, on the surface of their skins, while sharks have scales, 
and whales have little hair on their skin surface, and may be considered non-existent. Bats also have ear attached outside, and are special mammals, with their forelimbs adapted as wings, give birth to their young ones, and feed the young one with milk. Bats are the only mammals, naturally capable of true, and sustained flight. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.